Well, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're doing well this morning. Um, all right. Oh, that is so good. Oh, kind of had a rough night last night. Uh, we had, uh, thought we were going to have some water damage. Uh, one of our sinks was left on and it clogged up. And uh, we came home after about an hour uh, being away and the living room was filled with water. And uh, so it was, um, <clears throat> it was kind of rough there, but we, we had all hands on deck with towels and mops and, and uh, everything. We got it cleaned up pretty quick so I, I think we're going to be okay I had the floor guy come out and and uh, he came out and, and looked and and uh, uh, we have vinyl flooring in here and I was afraid it got underneath that uh, but he, he thinks we got it cleaned up uh, pretty quick and um, uh, quick enough to where it's not going to cause any damage because you know we anyway got a guy coming out Monday and uh, going to inspect it again so uh, hopefully everything will be fine, but it was a rough night, but anyway, it is, let's see, it is May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, if that's your thing, um, it's the sixth Sunday in the Easter season, so um, this morning we're going to start off in Acts, and then we have uh, Psalm 98, and then we're going to 1 John, and then we're going to the Gospel of John, so let me get a sip of coffee here, and we'll get started. Oh, all right. The first reading, Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Awesome. All right. Psalm 98 O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth, break forth into joyous song, and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar, and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. That's good stuff. Get a coffee here. Oh, and by the way, I got some good reports on the on the new mic, and uh, apparently it's it works a lot better than the old one. So happy about that. All right. 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, 
not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. That's good stuff. All right. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. Here we go. And as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. And I have these things to you, <clears throat> and I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends, and if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands, so that you may love one another. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. All right, we'll go to the prayers. And as usual, on, the, uh, on Sundays, the Revised Common Lectionary has a series of prayers. And I would like to uh, share those with you. Let us pray. Mighty God, in whom we know the power of redemption, you stand among us in the shadows of our time. As we move through every sorrow and trial of this life, uphold us with knowledge of the final morning, when, in the glorious presence of your risen Son, we will share in his resurrection, redeemed and restored to the fullness of life, and forever freed to be your people. Amen. And then, Holy God, you have called us to follow in the way of your risen Son, and to care for those who are our companions, not only with words of comfort, but with acts of love. Seeking to be true friends of all, we offer our prayers on behalf of the church and the world. And there uh, are certainly some people on my heart and my, and my mind that I've been thinking about and uh, praying about, and I lift those up. And guide us in the path of discipleship so that, as you have blessed us, we may be a blessing for others, bringing the promise of the kingdom near, by our words and deeds. Amen. And then, faithful God, make our hearts bold with love for one another. Pour out your Spirit upon all people, that we may live your justice and sing in praise the new song of your marvelous victory. Amen. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, hope you have a great day. And if you're in the Houston area, please be careful. There's a lot of rain today, especially on the east side. And uh, certainly pray for those folks. There's a lot of flooding and people being evacuated and uh, everything. And it's, yes, that, that cannot be fun. So anyway, keep those people in your prayers. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Morning. God bless.